Hey guys, um, we're going to take a few minutes to analyze Kanika's uh, photograph from her funeral uh, versus the photograph of her at the funeral home. Um, it's unfortunate that we are back in this place again, but we are. So uh, many don't believe that it is Kanika Jenkins in the casket. I'm one who does, okay? And we're going to go over those photographs so I can show you guys the reason why I believe that it is her in the casket. The same person at the funeral home is the same person in the casket, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Kanika's hair aligning because that is the most prominent thing that brought me to the my conclusion of this being Kanika in the funeral home. She has a very distinctive hair lining. Um, she has a deep curvature uh, on the side of her face and her face is kind of bulky at that point around her temple. And also she has this indention uh, right above that that suggests to me that the older she got, her hairline would have receded, right? So as you can see, we see this on this photograph. Um, we're looking towards the uh, left side of the screen. And if you look there, I don't have a marker or a pen on this device to show you. But if you follow me, I'll tell you where to look, okay? So you're looking on the left side of the device, the photograph. And you're going to just take your finger and draw Kanika's hairline in. And you're going to come to realize that she has this deep, right where this puff is, if you go a little bit to the left, you can see that indention on Kanika's head. And then that curvature on her temple that co uh, connects to the ear part, right? Okay, so now let's see if we can see this on the photograph of, of her at the funeral home, guys. And as I move the photograph to the side, it becomes clear that she has that same indention that I'm talking about, that deep curve on the top of her hair lining, and then she has this another curvature that leads to the ear part, right? On the temple area. So for me, this is a match. Okay, the next thing that we're going to look at is her eyebrows. Now, on the photograph of her in the casket, we understand that she now has makeup on. So, they have put some eyeliner to darken the eyebrows, right? Look at the way the eyebrows are shaped. That is our main focus here. On the photograph of her at the funeral home, we get a better glimpse of how the eyebrows are shaped because the photograph is much clearer. But as you can see, it is the same eyebrow shape, guys. It is exactly the same. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the eye itself. Now, of course, her eyes are closed. So, and because, you know, she's no longer with us, she's no longer alive, um, they may have done some things to the eyes in order to keep them closed, right? So, we see some puffiness on the photograph where she does not have any makeup on. Uh, and we also see 
is almost like this, uh, right in the middle of the eye, right? We see this, this really prominent um, shape. So we're going to take the photograph of her in the casket and see if we still see that. I see it even though she has makeup on. So I'm going to place that photograph right on top of that. And I'm going to zoom. I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger. So we can see. And as you see, guys, once I zoom in on it, it is the same shape. See that? Okay, so now let's go ahead on and take a look at the nose. The nose is uh, linear. Um, it has a flat uh, spot right at the tip. We can see the way the nostrils are defined. Let's go ahead on and see if we can see the same thing in the other photograph. I'm just going to move this down. And as I'm doing this, go ahead on and take a look at the shape of the hair lining, the shape of the eyebrow, and the shape of the nose on both photographs as I move the photograph down. going to stop it right here so you guys can get a chance to see the shape of the eyebrow and that puffiness in the middle of the eyes that I spoke about earlier. Let's go ahead on and see if we can see that little flat spot right at the tip of the nose on each photograph. And there you have it guys. There's a little flat spot right at the tip of Kanika's nose on the photograph of her at the funeral home and also the one with her in the casket. Now, for the big part, and that is her lips because they're so defined, right? Um, we're going to go ahead on and take a look at this photograph right here. As you can see, the lips are full. All right. I don't know what method they used to keep her lips closed. They either had to glue them or they had to sew them. Okay. So this photograph may look slightly different than the one of her at the funeral home. Keep in mind, she has makeup on also. And that little white spot that you see on top of the lip. That is just some sort of distortion that was captured when they took this photograph. This is not the shape of Kanika's lip, okay? It's not. If you zoom in on it, you're going to tell that it doesn't belong there. Let's go ahead on and do that now. See that? That's just some sort of distortion here. But as you can see, the lips are exactly the same shape, except for the exception that in, the, in this photograph, they are now either sewn or glued together, guys. On this photograph we know that they haven't done that yet because we can see where the top lip meets the bottom lip I can see it clearly so they had to fix this before they presented her to the public so they either sewed the lip together or they glued the lip 
And if you don't believe me, you can go look it up on how they do those things. So let's just go ahead on and place the casket photograph right on top the photograph of her at the funeral home. And for me, this is a match. Now, I will say this. Their choice of color for the makeup, in my opinion, was totally wrong. Um, they made her look dark. But this is def dark. They made her look darker than what she is. Because she, was, she wasn't a light-skinned girl. She was, you know, uh, dark-skinned. Okay? But... This photograph make her this image makes her look much darker than what she really is. But in my opinion, this is a match. The eyebrows are the same shape. The eyes are as well. The nose is and the lips. All right, guys, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Again, it's unfortunate that we are in this place again, but it is what it is, guys. So from time to time, I'll do whatever I can to help the people who don't understand or, you know, they're not sure about something. If I can help you guys out in, 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 in a particular area, then I'll pop on here with a little video. See you guys later. Bye-bye.